Hey guys, Keith here. Um, just wanted to do a very short video to preview something that's coming in dot four. Uh, 2018, which will um, hopefully help some of our really new users to XLights when they first get started. Um, in XLights, you don't really need to fill anything into the setout tab in order to start playing with the software. This is really about controlling, um, sending data to your controllers, and you may not even have any controllers yet. So XLights doesn't actually require you to fill this in before you go to the layout tab and you start building some models. And here you would go in and you would start to create your models, configure your models, etc. And so let's just add a few in here. And that will do. And what XLights does is the first model I dropped, which was the star, it puts it on start channel one and then it chains all of the models together and they are all neatly um, not overlapping. So if I was to go and sequence this thing now and drop effects onto trees, it would only show up in the tree. It wouldn't overlap with any of the other elements. But a couple of things can happen as you're building your first display. You might come to these candy canes and say, I no longer need them. And so you delete them and you get this error. And this error happens because right now the star is the first model and the chain, the chain really follows with the candy canes, which start at the end of the star and then the arches and then the tree. But because we're deleting the candy cane, the arches are now chained to a model that no longer exists. And when we click OK here, you'll see what happens is the arches now and the candy canes, their start channels don't make any <laughs> sense anymore because the model that they're looking for, the candy canes, no longer exists. Um, and at this point, people would go in and they tinker with it and they would end up with start channels, uh, sorry, overlapping channels and all sorts of problems. So what I've added is the ability to come up here and right click. And when there is a problem like this, some invalid channels or overlapping channels, you'll get these options here, which will help you fix it. Now in this case, we've got a bunch of invalid channels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, make all of my start channels valid. And what that will do is it will go and find these two models here and it will adjust their start channels so that they are valid, which means uh, they would need to uh, uh, chain to something that exists. So we'll quickly do that. Um, it gives you a warning and tells you that it's going to make it valid, but it's not necessarily going to be final or right. You will obviously need to reconfigure these at some point to wire or to point them to correctly to your controllers on your setup tab and everything else. But for the moment, that's okay. We just want this thing to work. And so we click yes. And now what we find is that the arch has been correctly linked back up to the star and there's no longer a gap in the... Um, in the chain, no more overlapping channels, no more invalid start channels. And so you can go back to playing in the sequencer, dropping effects and seeing them work without having all sorts of strange behavior. Now this also works if you happen to delete the very first model in the chain. If I delete that again, I get this problem of a broken chain. Again, I can come in here and I can say, make all the start channels valid and the same warning and it fixes it all back up again. So hopefully you guys will have, find that useful um, when you get stuck and you're getting weird behavior. Now, th the reason why the menu, and you'll notice we get no errors at all here at the moment because there's actually no problems anymore. So it's smart enough to know when there is a problem. Um, let's quickly, sorry, let's quickly delete that tree and get create a problem again. Now. When you come in here, I do separate the concept of validity and overlapping. Overlapping channels occur when two models occupy some portion of the same amount of the channel address space. So this means that a particular channel, channel 100 or whatever, has two models on it. Now that's not illegal in XLights. There are good reasons why sometimes you would do it, but it's pretty uncommon and definitely should be uncommon for a brand new user. And so uh, making them not overlap is what the, this, this option does. The make start channels valid will help you um, uh, solve anywhere where you get these stars. So let me give you an example. So let me go to my layout because my layout actually does have overlapping channels in it. Let's not save that. 
Okay, so this is my layout. Here it comes, okay. All right, so we'll ignore that one. That one's a test model I was playing with. Um, so in this, in this particular situation, I actually do have some start channels. What I, sorry, my overlapping channels. What I have is I have these, these shadow models that I use for some special sequencing purposes that sit in the underside. And consequently, um, if I was to come here and click um, overlaps enabled, and if I was to click up here, um, which one is it? Is it this one? Okay, you're not going to see it because it's in the other um, uh, it's in the other group. But basically, these do overlap with another one of the models in here. So if I come in and right click, notice how it gives me two options. I can make all start channels not overlapping, or in this case, I can make just this particular model not overlap. So let's try that. We're on the ribbon ridge. We'll make this one not overlapping. We get the usual warning. And now we'll find that, give it a second because it's such a large thing, that our ribbon ridge start channel has moved. And in fact, it should be all the way down here at the bottom because it's added it at the end of the last model. And so it solved the overlapping channels just for that one particular model. So hopefully that will help people solve things quickly or at least get things out of the way so they can get on to exploring the software, um, enjoying it. And of course, if you have any issues, you know how to reach us on the Facebook group or the Nutcracker forum. Thanks, guys.